Mode number 4 of global OBD is erasing codes. That is very simple to understand, you know, you can just erase the codes. So if you have check engine light, there must be some fault code that is triggering the light. And when you erase the code, the check engine will go away as well. Okay, so that sounds very simple. And it is. Just remember that you don't want to erase every code right away. If you erase code, you are losing a bunch of other data. First, your freeze frame data. If I wanted to delete my codes, first what I want to do is go to my freeze frame and either write those freeze frame down or take a photo with my phone. Why? Because I will probably need some of this information when I will try to fix my vehicle. Or if you want to take your vehicle to garage, the freeze frame will also help them diagnose issue precisely and faster. So freeze frame is number one. And second, when you go to your I am readiness, this is by the way mode six. I will talk about it in the sixth lesson. But basically readiness monitors are keeping eye on your emission and exhaust related systems. When you erase the codes, you are also resetting your readiness monitors. Okay, so you will reset the monitors and it usually takes maybe two or three days to perform all the tests again. Why that can be a problem is when you are going for state emission inspection. In many countries, looking at these readiness monitors is part of inspection. If you delete the codes before inspection, you will reset monitors, and if they see monitors like this, you will not pass. So think about that before you erase codes. Okay, so remember that you are erasing additional data. On the other hand, erasing codes can also help you. When I get trouble code, what I do the first is usually erase the codes. And that is because sometimes you can get these random faults. Maybe you have weak battery or something and it is completely unrelated. So I will get fault for maybe camshaft sensor or something, but the sensor can be completely fine and it is random fault. So I erase the fault and then continue driving the vehicle. If the same fault comes back, then I know that I really have some problem and I need to look into it. Okay, let's try erasing the codes. See, it doesn't even warn you that you will clear and reset emission related information. So we have check engine light, turn ignition on, engine off, okay. And now when we start the car, the check engine should be gone. Yes, it disappeared. 